What are you doing, guys? <laughs> cool. What is the idea? <gasps> Don't destroy my background. <laughs> Trash. Servus, everyone. I think this will be my most German video that I have ever uploaded or filmed or even thought about. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm just doing it for you because that's all you want you want me to be german apparently <laughs> i'm just kidding nobody asked for this video nobody ever asked for these type of videos that's why i have to think of them i will be testing drinking trying every beer that exists here in germany not in germany i'm not crazy okay <laughs> do you guys know how much beer we have in germany every region basically has its own beer so i want to just focus on the ones that i can get here in berlin even though berlin is not my birthplace in that sense so i can't pick my birth beer <laughs> so we're gonna have regional berlin beer and just the classics i don't know why i'm talking about beer like i know about beer because i certainly don't and before i actually get into this i have to also point out that i don't like beer <laughs> so that's why i actually didn't want to film this video but i also kind of wanted to film it to just give beer a chance but you guys beer is so popular in germany it's not just a cliche i just really wanted to give it another chance because i certainly did not try every beer that exists so far but actually in order to get in the mood for beer trying i think i really have to change a little bit i need to get into the spirit so german transformation in three two one servus you have me in my tracht geschmissen <laughs> I can't do a, a Irish accent. Bavarian. Bavarian. <laughs> about 40 beers. Today is the day where I'm gonna like beer. Nonetheless, we're still gonna change the ranking a little bit. So now zero broccolis means this is absolutely vile, disgusting, how can people drink this? And 10 out of 10 broccolis means it's not that gross. <laughs> I think that is the only honest rating I can give you today. Let's just start drinking for educational purposes. Here is my disclaimer. Please drink responsibly or don't drink drink at all it's probably the best solution i'm just here for entertainment and probably my own suffering like always maybe i should have researched a little bit about beer beforehand but i thought all of the beer experts you out there you can teach me in the comments so let's get it started this is my dinner shout out to kelly for also filming a video like this but i think she actually likes beer or maybe not but shout out to you you did this five years ago and i'm thinking of you right now in my suffering i think we have to start with the most classic one maybe not for people that don't live in berlin but for me me. We're gonna start with the Berliner. Berliner Pilsner. Pilz is a specific type of beer. <laughs> I think Pilz is not even German. I think it's Czech. Pilz is your beer if you like it bitter and herb. It is one of the most popular beers of Germany, if not even the most popular beer. The category is Pilz. <laughs> Worth every penny that Vincent spent. I think this is probably already too much. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so drunk in this video. That is not so good. This is what I think a typical beer tastes like. Gross, bitter, and gross. I'm gonna give this a 1 out of 10 broccolis. <laughs> oh, by the way, did I mention that I also want to pour a little bit of every single beer that I tried into this to then create my own customized beer? I'm already drunk. Maybe we should just stay with the pills because I want to compare all of the pills. Krombacher pills, Krombaker pills. I think this is also a super, super classic. There's just always the same advertisement. There was this one specific one where they just pour the beer and that's it. Eine Perle der Natur. Eine Perle der Natur. Let's try the Krombaker. Tastes exactly the same as Berlina. Nein! Yes. I say what I want. This is my channel and this is my beer review. There is literally no difference. 
One out of ten broccolis. This is a Hamburg beer, Astra. Like this was such a go-to in Hannover and in Hamburg. I think it's just like very popular in those areas. It just in cities with an H. <laughs> Thing is, I already know that this tastes like shit because I drank this before. Oh, I have to say though, now in direct comparison to Berliner and Krombacher, this is a little less bitter, which I do appreciate. Astra, you are definitely better than the other ones. I give you a two out of 10 broccolis. Still gross. <laughs> <laughs> I will burp so much on this video. Rothaus Tannenzäpfle. <laughs> I've never heard of this before. 1791, people drank beer in 1791. People drank anything in 1791? There were people in 1791? Crazy. Why does it still look like this? Why did you do a rebranding? It looks like shit. <laughs> like, what is this, for example? Ew, brother, ew. I think also better than the first ones and like on a level with Astra. So two out of 10 broccolis. I really think all the Pilz ones, they will just taste the exact same. And if you say they don't, prove it to me. There is a Berliner Pranke. I didn't see the Berliner Pranke. Echt mild und süffig. That sounds good. It means it's mild and sufferable. What do you think German? I don't know. Are you Googling? Angenehm, schmeckend und gut trinkbar. Never heard of this word before, but this beer just invented it. I also want to mention that beer usually has, I think, a alcohol level of 4.5 and 5.4. These are the typical volumes. There's so much vocabulary that beer wants me to say that I do not know. But let's try the Berliner Pranke. It is a little bit more mild, which I really appreciate. I think I can give this a 3 out of 10 broccolis. Berliner Pranke, you are my girl so far. How much Berliner beer do I have? Berliner Kindle, which means um, Berliner child. Yeah, this has been around since 1872 and you can see it. I mean, I get it. You have a brand, but just still like be crazy. People drink beer anyway, without any hopes and dreams. Oh, that goes right down to one. <laughs> we really tried to work our way up here, but sorry, Berliner Kindle. This hat gar nicht mehr geklappt. Jetzt habe ich geredet wie Teddy. Das ist einer von den klassischen Mode Moves. Oh, I almost forgot Flensburger. They also have something going on. Right, they're at the beach, but like a Nordic beach. Yeah, but like they always sit in this cabin in the woods. Flensburger. Das meinst du? Flensburger. So we got Vincent's favorite beer out here. Flew it out to Berlin. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Vincent. Yeah, hello. <laughs> this is the most horrible one so far. <laughs> I don't think this is your favorite. I do not believe that. <laughs> this gets a zero out of 10 broccolis. The grossest one so far. And I stand by that. At least you can close it though. <laughs> I swear I need like a compilation of the verbs in this video. It's gonna be a whole video in itself. <laughs> well, I said I'm hungry. Vincent said I need to order something German. How about Rindergulasch mit Knödel? Next, Beckspilz. So this is a very, very classic made in Bremen and Philadelphia. No, it's, wait, nobody cares. <laughs> cute, it's so cute. Two out of 10, it's okay. Nothing about two out of 10 says that it's okay, but you, you gave my point. Friends that like beer, if you watch this, come over to my house. I got a lot of opened beer for you. You need to come fast. <laughs> We're gonna stay with the beer cans. This one looks almost the same as the one I just tried, but it is a completely different brand. It's yellow. <laughs> There is one note that is a little different, but it's not, it does make it better. So I also give it a two out of 10 broccolis. When are we done with the pilzitzes? Not yet. Now I have one that actually looks kind of cool. It definitely looks the best so far. It doesn't even look like beer. It could also be energy. Is it 5.0? Is that the brand? Three out of 10. Probably one of the best ones so far. <laughs> if I can even say that. Next, we have a Pilz that actually looks kind of good. I have to say, this is exactly what I'm talking about. If I say just 
Make something new. Redesign. I don't know. Make it fun. Happy Pilz. It's happy. Oh, it also is a Berliner beer. Like a Pilz, just Hopfiger. Again, a vocab that I cannot even understand in German. Think Pilz, but hoppier. Hoppy is an adjective? No, zero out of 10. So bitter, it's probably the hoppiness. Okay, let's carry on with the light beers because that is also a category of beer. It's getting a bit hot in here. <laughs> so category light, we have a very classic, beautiful design. I don't even know if it does anything for you if I tell you the brand, but this is the Chiemsee. So let's see if the light beers actually taste different than the Pilz. How does that taste the exact same? <laughs> hey, is it just me? How can they give it different names? I know there's probably different types of ways you can make them, but this tastes the exact same like Pilz. Come on now. You know it, I know it, we all know it. It's the exact same. But this will get two out of 10 broccolis. Another beautiful design, Spaten. <laughs> Lass dir raten, trinke Spaten. That's the slogan. Vincent, do you know the ingredients of a beer? Water. Good. Okay, that's enough. So I'm drinking water? Yeah. Du Spaten. <laughs> oh, yes. Nope. Munich, hey, what are you doing? Next we have the Münchner Hell, another light beer from Munich. Maybe the light beers are just a thing in Munich. Maybe that's just their... Zhuzh. This design is neither funny or iconic. Nothing. I literally can judge the designs of the beers better than the taste. <laughs> Wait, why did I just want to drink it out of the bottle? Oh my god, I just turned like crazy. <laughs> Red flag. I want to be sophisticated. Oh, wait, actually, it's not that bad. It has something in it that kind of makes it taste a little bit like a very spicy Fanta. <laughs> I don't mind this. Maybe by now I've just gotten used to the taste of beer. I don't know. I can't tell. But this is the best the one so far. The Münchner Hell with the most horrible design. I can't take this. I quit being German. I give this four out of ten broccolis. Oop, I'm exposing my... Honestly, I've never worn a dirndl in my life so far and I know why now. I mean, I knew it before I bought this dirndl. I don't get why why people like it. Like, literally, why? why? This is the most pink one I could find and it's not even really pink. Okay, where are all my light beers at? Where's my Augustina? Augustina! That's my brother's favorite. He drinks the elder thing. Let's see if Vincent's bro has taste. I mean, he has just looking at his girlfriend. <laughs> Shout out to to you, Nora, this one goes out to you. I'm not judging by the design anymore because also the other Munich beer was the best one so far. So maybe the Augustina will surprise me. Doesn't have an outstanding taste, but also didn't make me go. <laughs> so I'll give it a just a chill two out of 10 broccolis. Ah, you went for another one. I did. <gasps> I don't think it's that disgusting anymore. I think I just drank it pretty. Okay, I think I think I'm starting to feel the beer a little bit in my boots. <laughs> in my head is what I wanted to say. This design is so ugly, it is trying to destroy itself. So this is actually Bavarian. Finally. What about the music one? <laughs> Good morning. Pizza does is so loud. Punch it, bitch. I'm hungry, I want my knurr. <laughs> Did you hear that? I don't like the aftertaste. I was about to say, actually, I think I like beer now. <laughs> but the aftertaste is what threw me off. I think I still hate it. Two out of ten broccolis. This is actually a Nordic beer, balanced and fresh, with the flavors Ariana, Cascade, Select, and Akoya. I didn't know Ariana wasn't there. In the of oh my god, girl! <gasps> my knitter. This is the time to celebrate with my Nordic fresh beer. Oh, now it's not that bad anymore. Huh? I feel like the beer is gaslighting me. Still a 2 out of 10. I'm really confused now. Ooh, girl. I really need my knödel to balance out the beer. My knödel. Why is it so small? 
There is no gulash. <laughs> I just got two knödels. They forgot my gulash. This is really sad. The cheese knödel looks good though. Mmm, with the cheese. That is as German as it's gonna get today. I think it is time for a Hefe beer. It's a yeast beer. Okay, I'm ready for a different beer flavor. Honestly, beer, I'm not joking anymore. I really need something different. Oh, it's kind of like milky. Like it's not see-through anymore. That tastes very different and very bad. Like you can definitely taste the yeast out of this. One out of 10 broccolis. Wait, is this another light beer? How dare you disrupt my order, beer. Sounds like an insult, but I think it just means beer in English. Yeah, Spanish. <laughs> I have had it officially with beer. I'm getting really annoyed. I don't even have my goulash and instead I just have a lot of beer. One out of ten broccolis for this random appearance of beer that I thought I done already had done hers. This is. She already done had hers. Wait, didn't I want to try this one before the food came? Did I just put it away? I think I wanted to try this one. We have another light one. I'm sorry. I'm mixing up the categories. Well, actually, it's an Atlantic ale. I don't know what is live anymore. I don't know what is beer. I don't know why I'm here. That made kind of a cool sound. For that, it gets one more point than the other ones. But it gets one point, ugh, no. It gets one out of 10. Ugh, I have another white beer. Jesus Christ, who is this? Who is this man? This is Francesco Bira, the founder of beer. <laughs> I guess he's Italian now. We have another one that's a bit milky. Ugh. I don't even know how to describe these tastes anymore. All I can tell you is that this one actually tastes a bit different, but it still tastes like gross beer. I just really want to try beer that has a good design. What about this one? Guinness beer. This is very classic. I think this is also kind of international. It is from Dublin and it's a draught stout. Is that the category? Kind of stylish. I like the clean look it has. It's brown. That's disturbing. It's brown. I don't know what it's like anymore. I don't know what it's beer. I don't know why I'm here. Bavarian. Vincent, do you know the ingredients of the beer? Ew, the ew. Lass dir raten, trinke Spaten. That was the grossest thing I've ever put in my mouth. I don't even want to talk about it. My whole body has goosebumps and I think my knudel are coming back up. I'm sorry, Dublin Island. I really like you. I've always wanted to come to you, but this is a crime. Oh, it is dying my mega beer brown. I mean, it looks like coffee, but you might like it then. Why is it so watery? So bitter, but like watery. Welcome to the world of beer. <coughs> Oh, that was traumatizing. We have Benedictina. Wait, this guy looks the same as Francesco Bira. See the same guy? Is his name not Francesco? Is it Benedict? Oh, as gross as beer is, the sound that it makes when it gets poured into a glass. Ooh, girl. This is not too bad. I do not mind Benedict. This almost tastes a little fruity, which doesn't make sense because there's no fruit in there. So I give this a two out of 10 broccoli. Do you think there will be one that gets above five or even four? Next, we're gonna try Budweiser. It's actually from the Czech Republic, owned by Czech Republic. Come through. Okay, Czech Republic, okay. Three out of 10 broccolis. Let's try one of their neighbors. This one is made in Poland and it's called Cieski. Never seen this before. Also not too bad. <laughs> I think it's also gonna get a three out of 10. I'm sorry, but it kind of tastes exactly like the one from the Czech Republic. Please don't hate me. <laughs> kind of block me off beer. Sophia. I think I need to try this now. Hey! <laughs> I do like the color of the bottle. It is yellow, but it is a very, very light yellow, in case anybody cares. I care. You do? Yeah. This one tastes almost kind of sour, but I also really think my taste buds are starting to get really, 
wonky and weird. <laughs> I give this a 2 out of 10. How many ways can I describe the taste of beer? This is what this video is about. Next we're gonna try this gold one. There's an elephant on there. Elephant strong beer. <gasps> it's a strong beer. It has 7.5 volume. It's from Denmark. We're good. Let's see how strong this really is. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I think this tastes worse. It's a one out of 10 broccolis. Ooh, it has a very strong aftertaste. Oh, I can still taste it. I think that's the elephant. I think I can I still, still taste the elephant. I don't think I've tried anything on my channel that was this exhausting. Like, please give me back my Oreos. Give me back the Pringles. But take the beer away from my face. This is literally Heineken. Just prettier because there's actually no tag on it. Cool. No, gross. One out of ten. I will never go to Oktoberfest. Never in my life. Let's try the Zwickelkeller beer. <laughs> this is so ugly. Zwickel? Ooh, girl. One out of ten. Everyone, I'm done. I'm done with these beers. I need something new. Let's try Desperado. I think this could be a beer that I like. This is also very international. I know how you're supposed to drink it. I think you need like a lime and then you just like rub it on the and then you put it in there. Mm, mm, mm. That's a good piece of beer. My dental, it's sliding down. Where are you looking at? At my shoulder? Excuse me, this is not very well behaved. Compared to all the other beers I've tasted, this is definitely so much better. I hope this one little bit of the Desperados will make my mega beer taste amazing in the end. I have hopes. Even though the Desperados was apparently made in Czech Republic and not in Espana, I actually have one that is from Espana. It is, right? <laughs> International <laughs> Spanish beer. <laughs> ah, labor único y auténtico desde en español. Desde en español? <laughs> oh, that was a... Could also be Peruvian. Peruvian? Made in Peruvia. <laughs> Where did we go? <laughs> Peru, girl. <laughs> Anyway, I think Miguel uh, invented this. When we were in Spain, I drank this. Well, last two. Oh, I got it. What did you figure out about this very s mysterious beer? The well-known Manila <laughs> businessman Enrique Maria Barreto de <laughs> applied for a royal grant from Spain to establish a brewery in the Philippines. San Miguel, this is to you. I'm very, very sorry, but I can't give you a higher rating than two out of ten broccolis. All of this? Hey, I found an Italian one! Peroni! I can't believe it. Seven out of ten. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> now, actually, I want to dive into my past because there is beer in my presence that I drank as a teenager. And it is Beck's Gold and Beck's Ice. And I feel like this is gonna be the highlight of tonight because I think I still remember what it tastes like. And it's actually not really beer, it's like a beer mix. What is gold? I think the only difference is the color. Like it's gold instead of yellow. I just have to taste it. Huh? That's ja voll eklig. Das schmeckt ja gar nicht. Okay, maybe I didn't drink Beck's Gold. Maybe I just drank Beck's Ice. Lime and mint. I have flashbacks. <laughs> that is so weird. But it tastes super refreshing. Very icy. I think ice is actually a good description for this. I think I will give this a 7 out of 10 broccolis. Because this is something I could still drink. Like a normal person drinks beer. I also have this. This is another one um, that I know from back in the days. The V Plus Kuruba flavor. Which I don't know what it means. Ooh, this one is very, very bright and yellow. Wow. Oh, it almost looks like. <laughs> mm. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> it just tastes like sugar free. There's not much left. We have Schafferhofer. 
<laughs> Grapefruit. But this is very classic because I think that's also the one that prickles in my Bauchnabel. Die so schön prickelt in mein Bauchnabel. That's really good. I think this is the best one so far. This is getting an 8 out of 10 broccolis. Schäfer verprickelt in mein Bauchnabel. We have one more. We have a pale ale. This one has lemon notes, caramel. Looks very beery. Actually, it smells very good. It smells very fruity, but it tastes horrendous. And this will also, I think, be the last beer we're gonna add to our mega beer because there is no space in there. <laughs> Vincent already put a little bit in here because it was overflowing so much. It looks terrifying. I mean, it actually just looks like beer. So cheers to the mega beer and cheers to this video. I don't know why I did this. It tastes like beer that was standing in a room for too long, <laughs> which it probably did. So it's a no from me to the mega beer. It's a no from me to beer in general. I don't think I will ever like beer. Mm, I think I should just go. I want to take off my dundel and I want to never see beer again. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram. Naomi John on Twitter. And Naomi John on. <laughs> yeah. This is. What my view looks like, by the way. <laughs> so pretty. This is what my view looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will beer you in my next video. Good beer. <laughs>